Hi, it's Michael from Culture Talk and Tours, and I'm here at a new gallery to me, Rich Art Gallery here in Taichung City, Taiwan. They have an opening tonight. It's called Joie de Vivre, and we're gonna go see the work and hopefully say hello to the director, Melanie Tu. Let's go have a look. Hi, it's Michael, and we're back inside the gallery with gallery director Melanie Tu. You'll remember Melanie from Art Taijong last Saturday. I think we met last weekend. Lovely to see you again. Good to see you again. And can you tell us anything about this show? It's called Joie de Vivre. Yeah, it's a title exhibition called Joie de Vivre. And in English, it means the joy of living. And we want to that the viewers uh, feel the spirit through all the paintings. Wonderful. Now, we saw a few of the paintings at your show that you had at Art Taichung at the Lin Hotel, and I see some things that I recognize here. We're going to have a look. Thank you again for so much for your time. And then this show is from today is the opening? Today is opening. Okay, so it's Saturday, July 22nd until... September 20, uh, 22nd. So you've got some time. You've got all summer to come see it. Thank you so much for your time, Melanie. Let's go see this Joie de Vivre show. And Melanie, how many artists will be in this show? In this show, we present four of the uh, artists from different country and different generation. Uh, called Nikki Hare, Stan Kovinina, uh, Jeffrey Bullard, and Jimmy Air. Okay, and where are they from? Nikki Hare is from? From England. England, okay. Stan Kovinina is from Czech, 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 Czech Republic, yeah. yeah. Jeffrey Bullard is from French. France and? France. And Jimmy is from Korea. Korea, okay, so different countries and they're also different ages, some young artists, from some. 20 years old to 50 years old. Okay, so everything there. And I see there's so many great things. I want to go look at these paintings. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Michael. Melanie's going to come with us on a tour of the show Joie de Vivre en Francais. Now, this artist here, Melanie, is? Uh, the paintings, uh, is painted from the artist called Stanley Kovalina. And he's a Czech Republic uh, artist. Wonderful. And I'm loving the bright colors and the brush strokes. Do you know if it's oil paint or acrylic? Media. Yeah, yeah, and you've got some marker on it and some pastel as well. Now, I've seen a lot of these on Instagram, so this is why, and it's on the poster outside as well. Now, this one with the kind of alphabet, the words here, who's this by? She is a uh, UK uh, uh, artist uh, called Nikki Hare. Okay, this is Nikki Hare. So she's from, from England. England, yes, and it's a lot of stencils and it's layer upon layer of colors. And I'm loving this kind of uh, shiny paint. 
we uh, met someone at Art Taijong and he was using paint from car companies. I don't know if you saw him. It's Bug 2 Gallery in, uh, I think they're in Tainan. But this is reminding me of that. So I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but this gold and green is very shiny. The material she uses actually use acrylic color. Oh, okay. But it's quite, in, yeah, it's quite interesting. And you'll see this is like a shiny kind of clear color, but when it goes over the black, it's muted. It's quite interesting. So this is the UK artist. This is the Czech. And what other Here artists? Here comes the French, French artist called uh, uh, Jeff, uh, Jeffrey Boulard. Boulard, okay. And this is a panda. A panda. Wow. And it's all kind of grays and blacks. But we saw another piece by this artist also at Art Taijong and it was a bearded man so it was quite interesting to see all the details in that because from far away you can see for sure it's a panda but when you get close it's quite different and what's this background can we get closer to it it seems to be some sort of pattern or stencil on this side here some flower or something it's quite wonderful and actually uh, his painting uh, style combined with like uh, Japan aesthetic and uh, like futurism, right. cubism, right? So kind of balance and also the pop art. Yes, it's it's very like beautiful. Mixed together. But it's quite interesting because the more you look at it, it looks like he's looking at you, and if you move, the eyes kind of follow you. Have you noticed that? Yeah, the eyes follow you when you're looking at it. That's quite... And is there only one piece by this artist? Um, or is there more? There's another one. There's another one. Okay, let's go see the other piece by this artist. Oh, wow. Wow. Now this is... Uh, uh, it's like a... Like a, a guard. God, God guardian yes. God right from, uh, from the temple Osaka. oh from Osaka from Japan okay and why is this one under glass and that one isn't is this an older piece or that's just the way that's the artist our collection. Oh, okay this is your collection okay and I love this one as well because it's all the colors together it is monochromatic it's only whites and grays and a little bit black but it mixes well together. Okay, so we've seen three artists, and then is this the fourth artist behind us? Yeah. Okay. This and artist is uh, Jimmyer, and she is a Korean artist. Okay. Now these are quite interesting too, because is she making the frame as well? Yes. Okay. So it's painted on a canvas, but then something is added to Actually, the canvas. It's made of like wood and wood. clay wood and clay and then she's painting on top of that and you can see the uh, blank character she uses like a quilt right a quilt, and use the like oil pastel oh oil pastel pastel yes and it's this flower character and it's also almost like animation with the big kind of almost cartoon eyes yeah. Which I can. She got inspired by uh, by all on the environment. Okay. What she saw in the inspiring this world. Right. And well, I can see how this would tie into the theme because everything here is very happy and it makes you want to look at it and it's bright colors. But you can see with this one, even though it's grays and blacks, it's still so cool that you just want to look at it. There's nothing really sad or, or depressing. It's not a rainy day or anything like that. Well, wow, it's wonderful. So Melanie is busy. This is the opening, and we are running to another opening. Saturdays in Taichung City, we're busy. Thank you so much, Melanie, that was great. And like and subscribe to this video, and then Melanie can give us tours on every opening at Rich Art Gallery. And we'll see you on the next episode.